AI has completely changed the way that I make videos, and not in the way that you might think. From conceptualizing, to writing, to storyboarding, and even pitching, there are so many ways that you can use AI in the creative filmmaking process. But what I've found, and what I think most people are aware of by now, is that AI is not a replacement for the creative thought process. You can easily ask ChatGPT to generate a list of five video ideas for a soda brand. And you might get some good ideas, you might get some very stale, uncreative, uninteresting ideas. And to be honest, I like the creative process. I like the brainstorm. I like the struggle of coming up with new ideas. What I don't like is all the extra stuff that comes with the creative process, the long drawn out things that I have to do in order to create a video at the end of the day. The things that I want to do are being held back by some more tedious things and that's why I want to give you three tips or three ways that I use AI to make the video process faster and easier and overall more fun. The first way that I use AI is in the pre-production process and planning. Once I have a script, I will copy and paste it into ChatGPT and ask a prompt to break this down into a shot list give me a list of props and locations. All of these things that take so much time to scrape through manually of, of a script, I can now do in an instant. ChatGPT and these other programs are really, really good at this because it's just, it's just a purely analytical thing and this saves so much time. I can now take these lists and send it right to my production team and they can go out and find all of these things that I need for this video and we can get started right away into the fun part which is actually filming. The second thing that I use AI for is the storyboarding process. Typically in, in films this is something that's allotted time for. You have weeks, sometimes months to do this. Now, for my business, and it comes to commercials, this needs to be done very fast and it needs to be able to be changed really quickly because we're working with clients who have other goals besides just the creative and just the story of what you're creating. So you need to have something that's fast, adaptable, and looks really good because at the end of the day, we are the creatives in this process and we are trying to show it to people who might not be creatives or might not be visual people and we have to try to sell them on this this story so what i like to do is once i've got that shot list breakdown from my script thanks to chat gpt i can now turn that into individual prompts either generated directly from ChatGPT or just written myself. I can now open up Midjourney, which is an image AI generating platform based off of Discord. All I have to do is type in slash imagine and I can type out any prompt that I want in order to create the scene that I need. For example, I recently shot a commercial about an old man who looks like he's getting ready for a date. He cleans up his whole house, gets all ready, and at the end of the commercial, he's actually going to pick up a new dog from an animal shelter. Bringing this to the clients, we needed a clear vision. We needed something that was super fast and that looked really real. What I was able to do is take these individual shots and turn them into prompts and write them out into Midjourney. And now I can create each individual scene and a full storyboard of what the commercial is actually going to look like in the end. I can type in, I want warm lighting coming from the left side. I want an old man wearing a flannel shirt at a wood desk in a workshop location. You know, you can get as specific as you want so you can better sell your clients on what it's going to look like. It allows you to plan out the shots in advance so you can actually test out you know does the lighting look better this way should I go for a warmer color or a colder color it gives you so much opportunity to see what your shot is going to look like so that way once you're actually there to shoot it you have a direction to start with and it just makes the flow so much easier it makes everyone's jobs easier including the actors and your full team to plan out what they need to plan out in, t in terms of getting the vibe and getting the story. The last thing that I use AI for is in the post-production process. This is for fixing things that 
just kind of happen when you're creating any sort of content. There are always variables that get in the way that sometimes are unavoidable. One of them being sound. In the commercial production industry, a lot of times we're working in interviews or in places that might not be ideal for the video itself, but are ideal for what the client needs. And with this comes unexpected things. Maybe you've got background noise, maybe it's in an office, maybe you've got noise coming from a highway and these things are somewhat manageable on set, but sometimes they break through. So to fix this, we use a program by Adobe called Adobe's Enhance. This program is absolutely unbelievable. You can take an audio clip and drag it in and it will create a almost flawless version of your audio. The program's ability to take out any background noises is just mind blowing. 90% of the time it does a great job. The other 10% it might give you a more robotic sounding voice and it's not really usable at the end of the day. But for the 90% it is incredible and it has saved my butt more than a few times. Another amazing AI program that helps in post-processing is Adobe's Generative Fill. This is an option in Adobe Photoshop where you can essentially select something in an image that you want either taken out or changed. Now where this comes into handy in video is if you're shooting something static, like an interview where you've got a tripod set up, and maybe at the end of the day, you notice there's a garbage can or something just unwanted. Maybe the client realizes that there's a logo or a product that was placed in the background that they can't have in their commercial. It's really easy to now just take a frame from your video, pull it into Photoshop and draw a mask around the thing that you don't want in the video and ask Generative Fill to just remove that item or replace it with something nicer like a plant, something that's gonna make your video look better. And you can easily pull this back into Premiere Pro or After Effects and you've got a better looking image and it took you 10 seconds to fix rather than a full day of going and reshooting to remove this thing that the client doesn't want. Imagine if in Game of Thrones, somebody had noticed the Starbucks cup sitting on the table and generative fill was around. They could have easily removed that and nobody would have ever noticed. So to sum everything up, I think AI allows us to take our creative to the next level. It allows us to make the process way faster and take out the things that are otherwise tedious so we can focus on what we really like to do. And that is coming up with new ideas filming them and putting them out into the world. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. Please leave a comment if you have any other AI programs that you think we should check out or help you in your video process. Please drop them in a comment below and we will try them out in the next video. Thanks for watching.